Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of cirrhosis of liver. A middle-aged female patient came with gradual abdominal distension. She had a positive history of hepatitis B virus infection. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Hey, you can see the left lobe of the liver showing smaller in size and irregular in shape. You can see a huge amount of acidic fluid collection. Here you can see the both right and left lobes of the liver. The liver is smaller in size, irregular in shape, with coarse ecogenic parenchyma. The gallbladder wall looks thickened. Huge amount of ascitic fluid collection is noted. Here you can see the portal vein showing towards the liver flow without any luminal thrombus. We have measured the portal vein and it was in cum respiration 7 mm which is within normal limit. We measured the velocity which is mildly decreased indicating the early change of portal hypertension. Here is the portal venous flow. Here you can see the enlarged spleen with adjacent ascetic fluid collection. We have put the color Doppler and there was no abnormal tortuous vessel at the splenic hilum. The spleen measures around 12.4 cm which indicates it as a mild splenomegaly. Here you can see the small intestine floating within the ascitic fluid. Here is the picture of the small intestine. Here you can see the uterus in transverse section and the fallopian tube floating within the ascitic fluid. In my personal practice, when I see any gross ascites in a female patient, I usually love to search for the fallopian tube and its parts, which are usually well visualized within this ascitic fluid. So in summary, a small ecogenic irregular coarse liver is noted, the gallbladder wall is thickened, portal vein shows a reduced amount of flow, mild splenomegaly and gross ascites are noted. So the feature concludes it as a case of cirrhosis of liver. Now the take home message. Color Doppler is a useful tool to diagnose portal hypertension as well as to assess portosystemic collaterals. Do you want a video about the portosystemic collaterals? Hopefully you are getting one within a very short time about potosystemic collaterals. Thank you for watching this video. To get more videos, please consider subscribing and follow us on other social platforms. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.